this this is the Eddie Brennan farm yard now. What we're looking at down there was the Black Oaks. I was seeing down the hollow there was the Black Oaks that gives this town and its name yeah. that is. Yeah, four or five pieces of them there. Four or five pieces. Some of them been used for steak. Yeah. Some of them down, still not moved off the ground. Hard black timber, right? Yeah, really hard. <laughs> hard as iron. Yeah. Give the town land dead in its name. Yes, yes. Right. Yeah. The road was cut down here now during the 1921 War of Independence. War of Independence, yeah. yeah. French across there to stop the tanks going down there. Uh, we heard talk of an ambush taking place here now, but we're not really. Well, on that. Yeah. It was by the local IRA, wasn't it? Was it? The local IRA that cut that, yeah, and they yeah. cut it a, a few places up again, between here and Paddy Garners and again further up. Yeah, well, it was definitely cut here during the 1921 22 war of independence. It was, but the harlot was cut yeah. the trench across there to yeah. stop the tanks getting So down. there was some IRA activity around here? Oh, there was, oh, there was, yeah. yeah. The was around here now, yeah. 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 This is the old Ford PJ, wasn't it? That's right. Your ancestors. How many generations did you say there? Well, three generations. There was uh, my great grandfather was Jimmy Welch, my grandfather was Johnny, my father was Pat. So three generations of blacksmiths that I know. Whether what? they were before that or not. Yeah, what from this Ford? What from the Ford? So tell me. I had an uncle, I had blacksmith too. What was his name? James. James. Right in America. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a new roof you're trying to sell. It is, yeah. About 20 years. Yeah, before that you had a... I remember to see the old... Uh, Fel was felt on it. Yeah. It was kind of tear roof on top. Yeah. And the entrance was there to the gable out onto the road. Onto uh, the road, yeah. yeah. It was the gable. It was me that broke that door, as I said. Yeah. And you were saying that, uh, your, was it your father that worked over on the pizza estate? He used to go out... A couple of days a week. A couple of days Kind of a shop here later on then. Had you? Well, yeah, you sell cigarettes and tobacco and paraphernalia. Yeah. And I know, I don't remember what the old bread or that kind of thing. Yeah, then. yeah. That would be when the shop down the Dedins Road uh, closed down, I suppose. Oh, of course, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your father gave up uh, the work here. How many years ago would you say, or what year? About the 1940s? 19? Yeah, it's the early in the 40s. No, I, I, I don't remember seeing work on it. Yeah. But I remember all the equipment was in it. No, he was only given up around the time I was born. I Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had to go back again to it, but he never did. We'll around. say around 50 years ago he packed it up. Yeah, around that. Yeah. Now, PJ, do you remember when you joined the... Was it the Merchant Navy? The Merchant Navy, yeah. Yeah. In 1964. Yeah. Uh, what company were you working with? The uh, first one I worked for was Cunard. The oh, line. the passenger line from Cork, was it? No, from Southampton to New York. Yeah. To Queen Elizabeth, was the, the sister ship of the Queen Mary. Yeah. So it was the Queen Elizabeth II you worked on? Wasn't no, it? the old one. The Queen Elizabeth I? Yeah. Ah. I, I was gone from the, the before the, the... They started to build the, the second one when I worked for that. At the time I was working for them. Yeah. Uh, were you a couple of years with them then, you were? I was, um, about 15 months, I think. Yeah, you made a couple of trips to New York and Bath. Oh, seven times, I think I crossed, I, I crossed the Atlantic 52 times. Did you then? <laughs> yeah. Were they all comfortable crossings, or did you ever have, as they say, a rough crossing? Uh, well, mm -hmm. we, we did a few times. I remember once, and it was in September, I think, we got one of these big hurricanes. Yeah. It was a bit of damage, it would be the damage to the ship that day. Yeah. You survived. Oh, we survived. Yeah, yeah. Eighty-three thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Fine ship. Well, it was a fine big ship, but the, the accommodation for the crew was well, terrible rough on it. Is that so? Oh yes, comparison to later on, like. Uh, oh yeah. I remember when I joined up, we were sleeping six to a room. What are you doing? We were, yeah. Bunk beds, was it? Yeah, bunk beds. Yeah, sleeping six. What exactly were you doing on it? In the engine room. Oh yeah. And when I worked with electricians in. Like, like say four months, I was on the electricians. Oh yeah. yeah. Steam boilers. Steam boilers, uh, six big boilers. 
Yeah. Using cola. No, sorry, 12. 12 big boilers. No cola in all line boilers. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And there were two engine rooms in it, separate from one another, you know. Yeah, yeah. They could run the ship on one if there if, if were emergencies, you know. Oh, yeah. So you had pictures and uh, photographs and postcards and a lot of things of oh, yes. I got a good lot of them one time and it was all stored. <laughs> and one of my suitcase was stored in and all in it. In England somewhere? Yeah. London was it? Twice down one of the, I forget what station. In Some stations, yeah. yeah. I think it was Waterloo. Yeah. And uh, you worked with another <coughs> sh shipping company then, didn't you? Hello, I left them. I worked a little while on the Thames in London. It was a small little company. We used to only carry oil and about or oh, two hours trips up and down the river from power stations to... Yeah. Had they any name the company, no? Uh, they were... Um, the second one was uh, um, McCandles. McCandles, yeah. McCandles of, of London. Yeah. Then I went to a crowd called Hadley's of London. They were, to, they were run by a company called Holder Brothers. Holder Brothers do all the South American meat runs and cattle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is a tanker. And we went out to the Far East on that one, went out to Singapore, the first load we brought. We brought one load from Trinidad first. You're we talking about meat now, are you? No, oil. 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 oil yes. brought a load of oil from Trin Trinidad to Holland and we went, the ship went into dry dock then for a couple of weeks and I went with her again. And we went to the Far East, to Singapore. Uh -huh. And that's the time the Vietnam was starting at the time when we got. Vietnam War, oh, We yes. ended up in Vietnam, we spent six weeks up there. Did you? <laughs> Did it. What place? <laughs> Oh, Da Nang, Sa oh. Saigon. Oh, around there. Oh, yeah. the <laughs> I was in. De I was out off Da Nang the day that the Marines landed at the. Where are you then? Was. Would you be fair out now? Twenty miles. Oh, I know about two or three miles. Out. Oh, you were. Uh, we, we, we could see them, like we could see them going in. You were dangerously close, weren't you? Well, we were supplying the. We had a, we were a depot ship of petrol and diesel oh, for I the see. tanks and for the jet planes and everything like that. The all. American ones, was it? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, you were, you were part of the war effort then, were you, more or less? Well, we were supplying with the, the men as a depot ship. Oh, I see. And other ships used to come up, yeah. pump the cargo into our ship and go, they go back. Yes. We, we stayed there all the time for six weeks. You were sitting duck in other yeah. words, weren't you? There was one ship sunk not far away from it. No? Oh. Mine. Yeah. Uh, how long were you with that crowd? I was with thir th 13 months, I think, was on that one. Yeah. And then I joined, uh, I was on a region tanker for only a little while on her. I did one trip on around the English coast. And then I went on a cargo boat, one of uh, Harrison's of Liverpool, went yeah. South African, East African, Mozambique and them places. Uh -huh. After that, I went with the British Rail and the ferries. Yeah. The, the well, while you were uh, doing the trip to Africa, you, 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 you went by South Africa, didn't you? We did. We, what we called the it, she, she had, it's, this was a cargo boat now. Yeah. With general cargo, you carried all sorts of stuff out, like Indeed. bits and pieces, of, and mostly back what you have, uh, we had from Byra, we had a lot of copper. Oh, yeah. And we brought uh, fruit in from around the coast in South Africa, oranges oh, yeah. and apples and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And we ended up in... South West Africa. Uh, we finished up loading up with fish meal there for Belfast. Oh, yeah. How was the crossing that South Africa? You know, the Cape. Was it rough or was uh, it? No, not really. No, not too bad. No, no. And then you were telling me you went down with some with British Rail. You were I working. went down into the ferries down to Harwich and was running over to Holland with them for about six months. From where did you say? From uh, from Harwich, the whole the oh, whole of Harwich, oh, yeah, Harwich yeah. down Essex. Yeah. From that we went to uh, we go over to um, you do five trips and then you got three days off. Yeah. That's how you worked. Couldn't be a, would it be a big boat you were on? I know, I mean, it's the same type of ferry now as crosses from Honey Head to, you know. Don't blame it. Yeah, oh, yeah. The one, oh, big enough. The same company. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ring, we used to, I was on a couple of different ones with them. Now, you wouldn't be on the same one with them. When you went with them, you see they had about seven or eight different ships running. Oh, yeah. And you might do five trips on this one, and then they might switch it to another one for another, next time you go. Oh, yeah. Like, you know. yeah, oh, indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well, the quarter was more comfortable there than that. Yeah, they were a bit better when improvement yeah. and then, but uh, then I went back to the tankers again with BP and I finished up. That's, I spent four years, I think, with them and that was... Yeah, B, that's Shell, the Shell company. When did you start with no, them? No, not Shell. Shell and BP are the same. Oh, the two different companies. Yeah, separate. Uh, I was with Shell one trip, with Shell two, but it was, uh, it was only a short trip. Yeah. But I waited with BP then for four and a half years. When did you start with them, about? Rough idea. Well, until I seen. I gave it up in 19... 72. 68. About 68, I think, yeah, I went to the yeah, yeah. 
See, I had in the record book. If I had the record book, I could give you a date and, and name yeah, of the ship. You know, you have photographs and you have a lot of things. Yeah, well, you see, every ship you join, like, the, it went in the book, the record. Ah, yeah. The date you joined it, the date you left it, and the yeah. stamp. Yeah, yeah. I had that. You lost all that with your little Oh, indeed, indeed. Yeah. 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 What trips did you do for BP? From where? <coughs> Any long runs? Oh, we did, uh, I was on about five or six different ships with them during the time I was with them. Did you go to the Middle East or anything? We well, did. We used to go to the Gulf a lot. Uh, it was around the Cape. All the woods, the Gulf was around the Cape. But I also oh, did yes. some... I was on a couple of clean eye, what they call clean eye ships, yeah. product carriers. We mostly did around the Mediterranean and yeah. European ports, small did you, ports. Did you, go to the, you didn't go to the Suez Canal, no? I did, twice. Yeah. 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 Outward bound. Never came back. In through it. In through it back. Oh, you went out empty and came in? When no, I went out, went out one time I went out and it, it was only a couple of days after when the war happened and the, she was blocked after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was the June war, they call yeah, it, The war, it? yeah, that year. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were just gone clear with it, I think, about two days when it happened. Yeah. Tell me, would you like to go back to it again, or did you...? I would, but you can't get back now. Is that so? No, there's a, such a redundancy now with shipping as half the ships of the world are laid up. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. There's come a slump in the trade yeah, in the shipping since business. Since 1967, 68. Yeah, yeah. Our own shipping yeah. business has gone out of... Uh, oh, they're gone. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So you didn't serve really in any other ships at all? No. Yeah. British and uh, American, was it? Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you think it was a good life? Well, it's, it's all right. It's a, it's, it's, it's a good life nowadays. Yeah. It's not as rough now, but the young fellow that's going, is a, who you got it. Like, yeah. They, yeah. They have good economy. You know, all tankers now, everyone has their own room, a lovely room to themselves and yeah. their own wash. Oh, I see. And all that. More privacy than they used to. Oh, have. yeah. No, Did no. you get ashore many times? Oh, you went off a cargo boat, you get an awful lot of shores. Yeah, not yeah. much of tankers, no. It's, I was often in ashore of tankers too, but not, you, you didn't have a lot of time. You didn't. The most you'd have at the time was three or four hours to go and come back, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, so you saw a lot of the world in a few years, didn't you? I did. I was on, the, on that one, uh, first, that Hadley's one now, too, when I was on her. We did all the Far East, all the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. We went to the New Guinea, yeah. Port Marsby, New Guinea, all around Australia. Yeah. Oh, yes. How do you spell that? Is it H I G L E Y or H I G L E Y? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they were only a very small company in shipping. There were only two ships. Is that so? That's all, yeah. yeah. But they were managed by Holder Brothers. Oh, yeah. It was actually Holder Brothers that hired it to work for them, you know. Yeah. How did you get into all this anyway? Well, I was in England and I was working with this English fellow and he decided he was going to join. Yes. So I applied along with him. Oh, yeah, and you got into it then? And I went down, we had to go to a training school first. Oh, yeah. Where would that be situated now? Up in Newcastle and Tynes. Oh, hmm. Yes. I got anywhere when it came to the test when the, we, the two of us was called to go with him. The English fellow backed out, he didn't go at all. I, I hit on me over. You took off on your own. <laughs> Has there many different nationalities working along with you, or would they be mostly well, British? Uh, and oh, American? yeah, I mean, on, the, on the ships, on the British ships, it'd be, uh, you get a fair mixture of Irish. Would you? You would, and, and yeah. Scotch, a lot of Scotch. None from this county? I did meet fellows from this county. I met a fellow from Ballon Row working with him. Yeah. He was a, a mate with, with uh, that was with Esso. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. there was a, uh, there was a few fellows, there was a, uh, Fellow from Innescrown there, he's to Sean Kew. Yeah, well, one day he just runs in the family yeah. of the ship and he was a uh, pilot and well. I never met him at sea now, but there was, there was another big family down in Rack Lee. There were, uh, I can't think of the names, are there? There was four brothers of them in it together, anyway. Yeah. There's that is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's always an Irishman in some different form of the earth. So, did you tell you ever get a mile from one? I'm not the way you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. I did, I met them in, uh, I remember in Australia one day I went down to the, to the hospital for a, a jab for some smallpox or something. Yeah. And the nurse was, was doing the job, like I, I knew by the accent that she was. An Irish woman. An Irish woman. And she turned around to me, she said, what part of the west of Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> and this was in a godforsaken place up in Darwin, where you wouldn't... Yeah, yeah. Was a, at that time it was a rough spot. Yeah. Well, was the heat terrible in Darwin? The heat was rough in Darwin, yeah, it's got traffic in Darwin. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah.
But she she was from Galway, this not. Was she out of the? She was a medical or a missionary society or anything. I know. I think she she went she went out there as a nurse, I suppose. Oh yeah. She just yeah. Just to get in. yeah. So a small little hospital. Yeah.